We're going to send things over to Leah Freeman, tracking the storm that's moving through Kern County right now. Yeah, multiple storms that have been moving through the region, mainly staying to our north and east. Uh, you can tell over Bakersfield, and no storms for us, just some cloud cover. So it's feeling a little bit muggy outside for us, but you can see over uh, towards the north and east, you can tell those storm clouds uh, in full effect, uh, working their magic over the Kern River Valley, dropping a good amount of rain up there, looking very stormy, a little hazy as well, and same story up in Ridgecrest. There, that, those have been the areas that have been seeing a good amount of rainfall that have been moving through today. So you can see how much it's uh, cooled our temperature up in that region 70s and 80s the rest of us remaining into the 90s we actually did hit 100 today for Bakersfield so that puts, puts us at 67 days of uh, 100 degrees uh, so far this summer so here's a good push of uh, those, those thunderstorms back from the past two hours that we saw things obviously moving well to our north at this hour and uh, same with our severe thunderstorm warnings we have we had a few that were issued earlier on uh, with some stronger wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour even some hail dropping with uh, some of these storms so overall right now things quieting down for the most part but you can still see over Shirley Meadows moving towards Glen Glenville, Wofford Heights getting a, a, some moderate rainfall right now that just moved through Lake Isabella and then off towards the east as well. Ridgecrest getting a, a thunderstorm there, dropping a little bit of, uh, of rain, obviously heavy rain there, stronger wind gusts and even some lightning as well. That's moving north towards towards Inyo Kern. So all of these continuing to move to the north and west as we head through the night tonight. The reason we're seeing all this, we have this area of low pressure that's spinning offshore, so it's really dragging in a lot of that moisture up uh, through central California here, even as far north as the Bay Area. And you can see that counterclockwise rotation with all of that moisture as that guy continues to sit offshore, but it's tracking northward and it's going to move onshore over the next couple of days and that's going to bring us a little bit of cooling, which is nice for us. But rain chances do continue as we head into our night tonight, even into tomorrow as well. So. I'm keeping a good amount of uh, rain chances for our mountain communities as we head into tomorrow afternoon once again. And then I think by Wednesday and Thursday as that system is to our north, it's going to a lot of our storm chances are going to stay north of our region as well. So I'm um, keeping slight chances in for Wednesday and Thursday for our mountain communities. But I think by Thursday we're really starting to, to dry things out and then our temperatures are going to cool. Air quality moderate tomorrow at 100 for our AQI. And I think it's going to be a little better by the end of the week as well with the fresh breeze uh, moving on shore. So tomorrow we're talking about temperatures in the 90s for the Kern River Valley. We're all dropping uh, by Wednesday and Thursday, and Friday is going to be an absolutely beautiful afternoon here. You can see cooler temperatures. That's below normal for this time of year. 86 on Friday. Sunny skies for us, warming it back up a bit by uh, the beginning of next week. But overall, after we get through these storms, we have some nice weather to look forward to. The 80s. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Yes. Like. Absolutely. Yes. All right, Leah, thanks. Yeah.